Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. My name is Stay Laughing. And as always, it's my pleasure to be coming to you guys live. Today is Tuesday, what, the second or the first? Or this? It's the second, isn't it? The first? Not sure. Um, quick update on everything going on here. Uh, cleaned out the cages, put in, put in new wood chips, took out all the poop. Cleaned out the cages, um, filled in the water. Put in a new bucket of sand for the jumbos. Um, I have my jumbo females in here, but I do have a pastel male. I'm trying to crossbreed some colors in here and try and get some uh, some new eggs. These eggs and these eggs are going into the incubator. Since I had to butcher those two birds, uh, there hasn't been any fights. I think it kind of it kind of shook the general population. To kind of keep the peace so as far as that goes in this section of the farm everything is now up to date and cleaned let's move our attention over here to the herbs um, i just finished watering but i'm going to come over here and showcase you guys one that i just transplanted and that's the bee balm as you can tell some of the flowers don't look too good they uh i'm not sure if Maybe it was just a lack of water, too much heat, but um, I definitely needed to transplant that. You can see down here, some of the flowers look like they're wilting and that's no good. That is no bueno. Oh my goodness. When I saw this plant this morning, I knew immediately that I had to transplant and get into the ground. Uh, this is the pot where the dill used to be, but I think the dill reached up, started to come to see, this is fennel. But uh, the dill was in this one and it grew up seeded and then here is the dill right now, what it looks like. And as you can tell, I got seeds of dill I'm going to harvest. I got all my dill seeds over here. You guys want to come, come with me and take a quick look. All my dill is drying right here, naturally drying in the sun. I'm going to harvest all these seeds. You see all these hundreds of seeds? I'm gonna harvest these seeds, save them for next year. I think dill is seasonal. So I'm gonna hold off on, uh, on replanting some of those. But um, <clears throat> now we got one of our most, this is one of my favorites. Um, I took this plant as a cutting, as a piece of, uh, as a piece of stem. And I put some growth hormone on the ends, trimmed it down. And now it's really starting to take off. It's taking off so much, you can see the flowers. I mean, look at the color on those. The color on these are amazing. I mean, what is that? Like a violet, like a dark black violet. It's one of the most colorful flowers I've seen. Quick update for you guys. Just uh, wanted to bring you guys just a quick information for Tuesday morning. You guys see the dragon fruit there, the aloe vera. Let's kind of go over quickly what we got real quick. I took down some of the dead leaves as I'm going to do with the... This is catnip. I'm getting focused on that catnip. I'm going to take out all these dead, kind of move that aside. Jasmine, mint, 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 mint. Four mints. Um, uh, this is uh, sweet marjoram, marjoram. And this is taken off quite lovely. I have to transplant that eventually. Aloe vera down there, dragon fruit, oregano, all my oregano. And then these last two are thyme. Um, salvia, this is a salvia plant. Parsley, this is a Mexican tarragon. Let me come over here, you guys can see it. It's taken off kind of sideways. It's growing more this way, which I don't really like. I, I kind of wish it grew up, uh, but I didn't put a trellis in there. This big bush here, this whole thing, is uh, pineapple sage. Pineapple sage is really, really taken off. It's about four feet now. And this is probably my biggest success as far as uh, from seed to plant. Got a whole bunch of basil here, two types of basil. Purple basil, sweet basil. Um, I did have another sage plant here, but that one did not last as long as I had hoped, kind of died off, I think during this during the super summer days. 
strawberry you guys can see the strawberry plants are really starting to sprout all throughout the garden that's what i want i wanted these mother's uh strawberry plants to kind of push the others out into the uh other parts of the garden this i have no idea what this is but i'm gonna keep that just there what's up zig i'm, I'm uh kind of going through the garden quick update i did some work this morning and i wanted to fill everyone in on the the plants that we got this is rosemary rosemary when we got it was smaller than this i'm telling you these are transplant rosemaries i had got these rosemaries out of someone's garden brought them here transplanted them into the garden and now they're kind of taking off real good rosemary fennel our fennel is going to seed so it's starting to draw back a lot as i exclaimed to you guys earlier um the bee balm is the uh main work i did today you guys can see some of the plants again are, are looking really wilted um, they're not coming out i hope once i transplanted i watered it really good and then uh, i put some some of the used this is like used uh wood chips from the birds hopefully this really comes back i hope it draws back i'm really this is one of my favorite flowers flowering herbs bee balm if you guys know don't know is a is a herb used for for headaches it's used for uh stomach aches basically this is an internal medicine and i really hope it survives this here this is another one of my transplants i uh took one stem one piece of stem and i planted it into the ground i added growth hormone and this is virginia beauty berry or sweet berry as some people call it you hear our frog <laughs> um he wants to give a shout out i think you guys saw him in the last video Ugh. and sweet berry virginia Be uh, beauty berry or sweet berry more strawberry here but this one's kind of dying back a little bit i think it's eat it got started to get eaten up where is he he's back here somewhere he's crowing he's like give me a shout out and our last herb feature for the day is going to be our fever few this plant we got from our local farmer's market we got it on sale actually for i think a couple bucks and uh, once i transplanted it it really took off like you can see how deep these these uh these are took to it took to flower really nicely and then some of these flowers are going to seed but fever few is another uh migraine tea that you can use herbal medicine for the internals beautiful plant <sighs> but this is my my biggest worry today I, i'm i'm a little i'm seriously worried if that's going to make it or not i um i'm hoping so fingers crossed okay of course i, I gotta give a shout out to our ginger you see our ginger shoot right there is really growing time uh, as i said in the last video our time is not looking so hot but we're gonna keep doing what we do um i haven't added any um pesticides i don't i don't use herbicides i don't use pesticides in my garden i try to stay away from those except for in extreme measures when we are getting like a disease or a mildew then i'll resort back to using some kind of uh, natural herb herbicide that we have but that's it that's the uh that's the garden oh, and uh, up here is a nursery got a few things growing uh this is i think rosemary those just sprout out i have no idea what that is honestly but whatever it is we gotta move it it's coming in nice i'm gonna move this down here okay and the next uh the next mission to take care of is going to be the the catnip because there's a lot of dead dead on that plant i got to get rid of but till the next one just a quick update on um on some of the herbs that we have here in the horde garden one box is our second box this is going to be the next project i got to take care of i gotta get out all that and since the last one you guys can see a lot of the corn corn is really coming up now it's about two feet tall Got our tomato patch back there. You see our pumpkin? Starting to change color. Finally changing color back there. And then uh, I transplanted all of the uh, poop. You guys see all the poop from the birds. is going directly into the garden. Onions. This is garlic here. And cilantro. 
This is one of my favorites. Cilantro. I love cilantro a lot. It's very, very useful as far as cooking. Cooking wise. And uh, our two types of pumpkin. Uh, not pumpkin. I'm sorry. Pumpkin is over there. These are two types of melon. Got cantaloupe. And I got Asian melon over here. So I added these old sunflower stalks. So that hopefully the plant grows up with these plants with the trellis that i tried to put in place but i'm not sure i never used sunflower stalks before you see our old sunflower stalks They're really starting to dry out so i wanted to get some use out of them but as it is um quick update on the all the work we did this morning mostly in the herb side um, i just watered everything down cleaned out all the poop from the quail cage and as you guys can see, they are living the dream. These guys are happy as can be. Yesterday was our biggest harvest for quail eggs. We got 16 in one day. That's the most that we've had. I'm extremely excited. And um, if we continue on the path that we're going, and if all females are laying eggs, we will, we will be ending up with 24 eggs a day. So that's two dozen eggs a day is what we're looking forward to. But till then, uh, here's a picture and a, a sight of the birds in their wonderful pastime. They love the sand. I, uh, I end up putting one of these old uh, Tupperwares full of sand inside the, the, the pen with them. And whenever they, they take a little bath, they're actually getting rid of mites. They're getting rid of the, um, the, the, the possibility of fleas, ticks. They don't like the sand. See how they're rubbing it all in their, in their skin and their feathers? That's exactly why I do it. This makes them the happiest. And of course, these are juveniles. Our juvenile birds are not fully matured yet, but I did see one of them starting to mount. I think that might be a male right there. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping he's a male. I, I haven't figured out who it, are the males out of here. And... Um, I'm getting one or two eggs out of our other celadon, out of our other celadon mix. But I like to appreciate I, I appreciate you guys for stopping by, and I like to take the time to thank you guys. If you haven't already, please hit that follow and hit that like button because, as you know, it truly does help the channel grow. Till the next one, uh, I'll be bringing you guys with another update soon enough, probably tomorrow. But as it is, I hope you guys are watching this with a smile on your face and a laugh in your heart, you guys. Till the next one, peace.